Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Diagnose Dan. In the previous video, we mainly talked about safety. But in this video, we're gonna take a closer look to the high voltage battery. So let's do this together. In front of me are three identical car batteries. Let's start out by measuring the voltage of each one. This one has got a voltage of 12.5 volts. The one in the middle, also 12.5 volts. And finally, the last one, again, 12.5 volts. Just like a high voltage battery, a conventional battery is made up of a number of cells. The cells are connected in series to increase the voltage. This battery has got six 2.1 volt cells placed in series. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six cells placed in series. If cells are placed in series, we can add the voltages together. Six 2.1 volt cells make up a 12.6 volt battery. Let's connect the positive terminal of this battery to the negative terminal of this battery using a jumper wire. Right now, we have connected the six cells inside this battery in series with the six cells inside this battery. Now let's take a voltage measurement again. And right now, we created a 25 volt battery. Let's connect another battery in series and take another voltage measurement. I'll connect the positive terminal to the negative terminal. I add an extra six cells and right now we have created a battery of close to 38 volts. We have just learned by adding cells, we can create a higher voltage. Now exactly the same thing is done in high voltage batteries. So let's take a closer look to this battery and see how it's done. A high voltage battery is made up of individual battery modules placed in series. This particular Outlander PHEV high voltage battery has got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 individual battery modules placed in series. Here you can see how it's done in a real high voltage battery. The negative terminal of this battery module it's connected to the positive terminal of the battery module next to it. Instead of using a thin jumper wire in a real high voltage battery, they use a metal strip called a bus bar. Let's take a closer look at this battery module. Its positive terminal is over here and its negative terminal is on this side. Let's count the cells in between the positive and negative terminal. In between the positive and negative terminal are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight individual cells. Just like a normal car battery, each battery module is made up out of individual cells. Now this high voltage battery has got 10 modules but each module has got eight cells. So this high voltage battery are basically 80 cells placed in series. This is the inside of a high voltage battery. This particular battery has got three battery modules. Inside these battery modules are the individual cells. 
D cells are connected in series. The positive terminal begins at the very first cell. Then, by connecting all the cells in series, finally, we have the negative terminal at the very last cell. We can increase the voltage of this battery by adding more individual cells in series. 80 cells placed in series and every cell is being monitored by the battery's computer. Let's hook up a scan tool to our vehicle and let's see if you can read the voltage of one single cell. On this Mitsubishi, every battery module has got its own control unit called a cell monitoring unit. Let's select cell monitoring unit 1, let's select data and take a look at the individual cell voltages. As you can see the total battery module voltage is 30.5 volts and all the individual cells are about 3.8 volts. In the scan data we have seen that the voltage of a single cell was a little over 3.8 volts. Since we've got 8 cells in every battery module, the total voltage of one battery module is 30.5 volts. In the high voltage battery, there are 10 modules, so the total voltage of our high voltage battery is 30.5 volts times 10 is 305 volts. Now you might remember that 305 volts from the previous video when we took a live measurement at the high voltage battery. In most normal car batteries, we use lead acid cells. But for high voltage batteries, different materials are preferred. Most normal hybrids use nickel metal hydride cells. But for plug-in hybrids and fully electric vehicles, like this one, we prefer to use lithium ion. Let's take some voltage measurements at the modules. If we measure one module, we see about 30.5 volts. Let's add two more and we see 91.5. Let's measure the voltage across five modules. And the total voltage across five modules is 152.5 volts. A voltage of 152.5 volt measured across five modules means a total battery voltage of 305 volts across the total of 10 modules. If we want to work safely on this high voltage battery, we want to bring that voltage down. How can we do it? By removing the bus bars. By removing the bus bars, the modules are no longer in series and every module is isolated from the rest and the highest voltage we're gonna get is one module or 30.5 volts and that's a safe voltage to work with.
With all the bus bars removed, the battery modules are no longer connected. And the highest voltage we're going to get is the voltage of a single module, which is 30.5 volts. 30.5 volts is perfectly safe to work on. So from this point, we no longer need to wear our safety gear. Next, we're going to take a closer look to a single battery module. But in order to do that, we need to remove it first. The battery modules are being held down by a metal plate, which we need to remove. It's being held down by 10 mil bolts, which we need to undo. There's one on this side. And there are two on the other side. With the bolts removed, we can now lift the panel. Underneath the metal plate, there is a plastic cover that's being held down with two 10 mils on either side, which we need to remove. We also need to disconnect a connector on either side. With those bolts removed, we should be able to lift out these two battery modules to take a closer look. We ended up with two battery modules. We're going to take it further apart to see what's inside. Right now we separated the two battery modules and we're going to take this one even further apart to see what's inside. With the module opened up we can clearly see the individual cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, in series connected by bus bars. With the cells exposed, we can easily measure the voltage of a single cell. And we are reading 3.8 volts. Sounds familiar? Remember how in the beginning of the video, we took a look at the single cell voltage in the scan data. You might remember the 3.8 volts. When I connected the scan tool, I told you that 
every module has got its own control unit. With the scan tool, we were actually communicating with this control unit called a cell monitoring unit. What a cell monitoring unit is for and how it operates, I'm gonna explain in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed this one and I certainly hope you're gonna join me next time. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And when you hit the little bell, you will get a notification each time I post a new video. And remember, diagnose then, fix it again. See you next time, guys. For most normal car batteries, we use, we, we, yeah, ah.